All right, let's look at finding the distance between two points and uh, the coordinates for the midpoint of a line segment between two points. So here we have the distance formula, uh, the distance D between the points X1 and Y1 and X2, Y2 in the plane is given by D equals the square root of X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. So here's an example. We want to find the distance between the points negative 2, 1, and 3, 4. So uh, here the x1, that's our, the, the x1 is our negative 2. So this would be x1. The 1 would be y1. The 3 would be x2. And the 4 would be y2. So we just take these and plug them into the formula. So we have D equals X2, which is 3, minus X1, which is negative 2, and that's squared, plus Y2, which is 4, minus Y1, which is 1, and that's squared, and we take the square root of all of that. So we have D is equal to 3 minus negative 2 is 5, so that's 5 squared plus 4 minus 1, which is 3, so that's 3 squared, and it's the square root of that. So D equals the square root of 25 plus 9, and D equals the square root of 34. And there's our answer. Now let's look at finding the midpoint. The midpoint of the line segment joining the points x1, y1, and x2, y2 is given by the midpoint. Our x coordinate is x1 plus x2 over 2, and our y coordinate is y1 plus y2 over 2. So for an example, find the midpoint of the line segment joining the points negative 5, negative 3, and 9, 4. So the midpoint, I'm just going to use, well, the midpoint is equal to x1, which x1 would be the negative 5, the y1 would be negative 3, x2 would be 9, and y2 would be 4. So we plug these in. So I have x1 plus x2, which is 9, over 2. And then for the y coordinate, I would have y1, which is negative 3, plus y2, which is 4 over 2. And so we get negative 5 plus 9 is 4 over 2. And negative 3 plus 4 is 1 over 2. And then we simplify the 4 over 2. So this would be 2 1 half. And there's our coordinates for the midpoint. And that's it.